going on guys so today we're going to talk about my kit it's kind of a three-in-one kit it is my first aid kit my repair kit as well as my hygiene kit now as far as the hygiene items two of which i do not have in here would be my toothbrush because that gets wet as well as the toothpaste tablets i've used i previously reviewed those the art uh, arctix toothpaste tablets Arctech, i think it's called um toothpaste tablets because uh, they're mint and they could contaminate the rest of the things because they're pretty strong. So before a trip, I'll just count out how many I need. Double bag them and then I'll throw them in there. Uh, only modification I've done is add this C to Summit reflective core, which you guys can see works pretty well. If I do get hurt, set it down, accidentally knock it over, be easy to find again. Got some Ben's mosquito repellent wipes in this little outer sleeve. Inside this first pocket, I've got some safety pins. And then I've got this bag right here. This has various size, smaller bandages, some Q tips for swabbing wounds, and a little bit of uh, tin foil case I take this out and I want to put it in a fire um, it does work okay on a stove and stuff you know um, but with having open flame it's much safer just to put the tin foil on it and not worry have to about about having to uh, burn the plastic on that so I don't use it too often since I usually just take uh, my Stanley Adventure Camp uh, if I'm going to be cooking over an open flame. Uh, I've got a small bottle of hand sanitizer. I've duct taped the flip top lid so it doesn't come loose in my bag. Uh, so now it's just a screw top. Got some triple antibiotic ointment. Some of that sticky type of tape for rolling wounds or splints or if I sprain an ankle or something like that, it works. Got some Mastazole that got sent to me by Jacko at Muddy Tiger Outdoors. I've got two of those. And it works kind of like super glue. Um, it's a protective layer over your skin. And it helps heal it a lot faster. And um, it provides a better seal than a Band-Aid would. Haven't had to use it yet though, so I'll tell you guys how that works. Uh, got a trauma bandage right there, just in case I have any heavy bleeding, you know, slip with an axe or have a big fall or something like that. Um, like I said, I, I really, this, I try to make it a really comprehensive kit. In the back, I've got a little bit of tenacious tape. Uh, Jacko actually sent me some of these Steri strips as well. Haven't had to use those yet though. Um, got a small piece of gauze and then some other bandages. And then these two tubes right here are my repair kit. I do keep some uh, duct tape in that back sleeve as well, but I have to re roll the. Um, the old gift card or I forget what it is rewards card or whatever that I use to do that uh, I've got some around my hiking pole as well or my trekking pole um, these are easy towels I got those from paleo hiker MD they work very well for just disposable towels they're biodegradable don't have to worry about them um, they are pretty good I think he has a review on them I'll try and find it uh, and then I just keep various size needles in there as well. Uh, in here, this is kind of just a basic fix-it kit. Um, but I put some thread in there as well. It's got the seam grip. That stuff works pretty well. Uh, I've used it on a few different items. And then it's got some extra. Um, this is... Some little patches and then this one is for um, 
It's like a little piece of nylon that you can use for like a, a sleeping pad or something like that, which is pretty cool. Um, but I've got that in there just in case. So, pretty decent repair kit as well. But, like I said, it's not too comprehensive when you put everything together. Um, it covers three different things. So, I've got that. And then if I'm going on a day hike, I'll just take this simpler kit. And then I'll take the trauma bandage out of there as well. Um, but I've just got some earplugs. That's more for travel. I haven't had to use them yet though. Um, antibiotic, got some biofreeze. I actually need to put some in there as well. I actually carry that too. And then just various size bandages. And yeah, keep the biofreeze bagged by itself. Just in case it leaks. Pretty simple kit for a day hike. Um, you can tell, obvious. <laughs> it's a big difference. This is more from going for an overnighter or something like that, um, where you know I would perceive more of a risk. But like I said, I try and cover all my bases and uh, be as protected as I can be. But just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of that. Um, if you guys would suggest any additions I do have a pair of trauma shears I don't know if I'm gonna start carrying that in there um, Jacko sent me those as well but normally I've got a Swiss Army knife or something that has scissors um, but maybe I will maybe I won't time will tell but thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a great day